Controversy is brewing about a new method of ensuring teenagers aren't using drugs. As John Hendren tells us, four-legged experts are now available for the home market. Every one of these items, markers, a flashlight, lipstick, even a car lighter, is a marijuana pipe in disguise. But now, for parents having trouble trusting teens behind closed doors, there is a new breed of home drug detection. Good boy. The DEA has them. Airport security has them. Now, thanks to companies like Dogs Finding Drugs, you too can hire a drug-sniffing dog to ensure your teen is clean. So this room's clean. So this room is clean. Great. Nothing we missed? In mere seconds, Zuko here clears the first room. Then in room two, amid a sea of pink, teen idols, and brightly bound novelettes, bingo. He sat down to let you know he's found something. Correct. This was used for a marijuana grinder. So it's got just um, little traces. This is not a large amount. Correct. We planted this in the Wiggins home for a demonstration. But for an increasing number of families, businesses, and schools, it's real. And they're willing to spend big bones up to $200 an hour for a canine drug sweep. There's no question dogs like these are effective. To be certified to do this work, they have to hit on the drugs 19 out of 20 times. The question is, when do you call them in? You look Absolutely. like you want to go out and do this right now. I, yeah, I would. It's an invasion of privacy. And, you know, teenagers, I think, have to feel that they do have a no, their own space. But, um, you know, drugs are a serious problem. Delaney Wiggins and her friend Lucy say mom and dad better have a reason. And I'd, yeah. I would be kind of concerned, like, that's my privacy, I know you're my parent, but, I mean, you have to give me some space. We do everything we can to try and eliminate, you know, drugs in any environment. For dog trainer Ann Wills and Mike Gimble, a former Baltimore County drug czar and one-time addict, it's a life's work. For Zuko, the reward is much simpler. John Hendren, ABC News, Catonsville, Maryland.